Hey everybody, YouTube family. Hey, I just wanted to show today um, five things I think are an absolute must on a K5 Blazer if you're building it for off-road or, you know, as a toy, even as a daily driver. Some things that make a big difference I've noticed um, through owning mine. I've had several K5s over the years. Um, there's a lot more than five, that's for sure, but these are just ones that I can show real quick on my truck and, and give you a good example of um, talk you through what I had to do to get it done. Um, I think number one is three quarter ton or one ton upgrade. Switch into an eight lug rear axle. You get rid of so many breakage issues with the half ton stuff. I, know, I ran half ton stuff most of my life and I know what it can take. It can take a lot. There's, there's no question, but there's also times when it breaks when it shouldn't. So, you know, having a 14 bolt full floater rear axle, big, big, big plus. Um, if you don't have a lot of horsepower, um, you can build up the uh, Dana 44 or GM corporate 10 bolt. It's a very similar axle. Basically, you use most of the same stuff on them, but um, they are a very easy axle to get parts for. Um, after, you know, as far as off-road and stuff goes, if you're going up to 35s, I think th three-quarter ton is good. I think if you're going up bigger than that, 38s, all the way up to 44s, you definitely at least want to be on a Dana 60 front axle. That's where it starts getting real expensive, though, because finding a, a GM passenger side drop Dana 60, um, let alone a high pinion Dana 60, is, you know, it starts getting very expensive. Um, finding one and then most of the time the ones you find are cores that need to be built up and, you know, put all your brakes and steering on. Um, and the other part of that too is um, if you're going to do a Dana 60, do crossover steering. That's one thing I definitely would recommend. I haven't done it yet on my Blazer. Uh, I just ran out of time and money, to be honest, uh, on my build. But that'll be one of the next things that I do. So I can get rid of the factory drag link here. Um, and it, this uh, this truck actually works pretty good. It, it's not bad, but I know it could be a lot better. Um, and a crossover steering setup would be much better. Um, number two, um, if you have a lift on your blazer, these little doodads right here, it's a sway bar correction kit from Off-Road Design. See if that'll focus, maybe not. Anyways, make a huge difference. Um, and what happens is when you hit bumps and you still have the stock sway bar mounted up um, and you put a lift on the truck and then you have this big separation here and you got to put in spacers or blocks or whatever, um, you hit bumps and it actually will pull the axle um, or push the axle back or, or tug it forward, whatever. Either way, when it does that and you have a drag link set up, you get roll steer, which that means is basically when you hit bumps going down the road, it wants to jerk your wheel left or right or whatever. That's why that happens. So, or at least partially. Now, the angle of the leaf spring to the angle of the pitman arm is also important in that equation as far as getting your steering correct. But um, it's pretty hard to make a drag link perfect once you lift the truck. Um, that's why crossover steering is a huge upgrade. Um, you get rid of a lot of problems and you fix a lot of issues, but um, Yeah, uh, the sway bar deal the from off-road design it made a huge 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 difference um, I Get maybe 10% the roll steer that I used to get and I have a wider wheelbase now with the wheels that I'm running now I'm running a raceline beadlock That's a 16 by 10 inch wheel with a three and a half inch backspace so um, I got a pretty wide stance. Um, I wanted it like that because I didn't, I don't really like the pizza cutter look. Not only that, it provides stability. It does suck for narrow trails, but, um, that's okay. You know, whatever. You're going to hit one some, you lose some. Um, number three is going to be the off-road design U-joint style steering shaft like a Jeep, older Jeep has. That's another big one, get rid of that rag joint. Just another thing that really helps your steering out. Um, I know it's a big improvement from that. It got rid of most all the slop in my system. Um, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, 
um, disc brake conversion for the rear. Um, I put Willwood D52 calipers all the way around on my truck. Um, for once in my life, I actually had a little bit of spare change to spend, so I went ahead and I, uh, I built the braking system that I really wanted to have. Um, it fits inside my 16-inch wheels, um, and it might even clear a 15-inch wheel, to be honest. I think it actually has more clearance than a stock wheel or a stock um, caliper does, but uh, I, don't know, I don't have that as a verified fact. It's just from the clearance I could see and lining up the caliper next to the stock ones. And then the last big upgrade after that, because this uh, the last thing on the brakes, this thing stops ridiculous. I have an adjustable proportioning valve. I redid the entire brake line system in this truck because I knew it was going to make a big difference, but I didn't know it was going to make this big of a difference. Wow. This truck will probably it could probably put you through the windshield i'm not even kidding um it's got some serious brakes and as far as rotors i went with their ray bestos which brand probably doesn't matter but they're a new rotor but they're an inch and a quarter wide like the uh, one ton trucks had uh, i think the three quarter ton had a narrower skinnier rotor so i went with the uh, inch and a quarter rotor and the willwood calipers um, and their um, house brand pads it came with this thing doesn't, you don't even hardly need to even breathe on the brakes to stop this truck. I, I'm really impressed with that. And then the last thing is uh, Bilstein shocks. Now, you don't have to run the setup that I'm running. I'm running a cross member in the rear from, um, oh, DIY 4x. And it basically allows you, if you need a lot of flex, you mount, allows you to mount your shocks inboard. And uh, I know the lighting sucks, I'm sorry. Um, I'm running a 12 inch uh, shock in the rear and a 14 inch shock in the front. And I also got from OR, from ORD, I got the extended front shock mounts that I added for my 14 inch Bilsteins. I know they're upside down. I don't care. That's how I like to run them. Anyways, the Bilsteins make a huge difference. Um, I like the way it rides and handles, really. Um, most off-road trucks really don't drive very good. Um, some of them do okay, um, but uh, so far I'm very impressed. Uh, everything on this truck that I built worked really well, and um, motor runs great. I'm going to make another video so you guys can hear how it sounds. Um, it's just it's got uh, single chamber summit um, chambered mufflers on it, dual two and a half inch system, and it just dumps right before the rear axle, which Yes, I know. I don't like smelling exhaust either, so that's just temporary. I'm actually going to put tailpipes that go probably all the way out the back, but they're going to dump before the rear bumper. And uh, I don't want to really dump them out the back, though. I'd really like to dump them out in the rear quarter area because if you dump them out the back, all the exhaust gets sucked through the back window. I've done that before on K5s. So right now I screwed up. I actually have to do rear axle seals uh, or hub seals because I thought that the old ones would be good enough. Well, they're not, and so they're just starting to leak uh, gear oil onto my brand new brakes. And I don't want to ruin my new pads, so although they definitely got a little bit on them, I'm going to clean them off and uh, just run her. So, anyways, that's my choice for five big things that you can do to your K5 Blazer that will make a huge difference in the way that it drives and uh, yeah, in the way it handles. On road, off road, any road. All right, this is Derek checking out. Thanks, everybody. Uh, if you like what you see and uh, you want more content, hit the like, share, subscribe. Thank you.